is me, Danielle, Danny Buttons, and I am back today with a coloring challenge video. If you saw my last video, which I'll link up above, I was very spoiled already for my birthday and all of those books I got before my birthday even got here. So right now you should be watching this on the 6th, but I'm filming it on the 2nd. And I just wanted to do a challenge and try to pick from my new books. So we will see what we get. Um, if you've not seen my challenges before, I had about, originally had about 25 prompts in a cup. We're down to less than that now because we've been doing them, but um, they'll kind of dictate what I need to color. And it just helps me to pick. So I'm shuffling with my eyes open and now I have closed my eyes and I'm gonna pick this one. Let fate decide, oh no. All right, so there's a few ways you can let fate decide and it like how much fate decides is up to you. So I am going to count how many books I just got and then I am going to, you do some number generating. So let me, count and get my iPad so you could see the number generating and I will be right back. Okie doke. So I have pulled nine books that I just hauled. I'm not sure if I hauled more. This is what was on my cart. So we're going to start with these nine and I just have them stacked randomly. They're in no specific order. I will admit that there are some in here that I would rather do than others. So I'm going to come into here. Uh oh, you can see my monopod. And I'm gonna put one through nine. Let's see. And what's the anything I'm doing? One through nine? One through nine? And then we're gonna press generate. Number one? Well, okay then. <laughs> Ooh, no, Doodles is barking. I think Grumpy Dog is walking by. She should be done in a second. It picked number one, which is Mystery Lines. I am surprised, but you all saw it happen live. Let me just get these back out the way. Whoa. You know what? Let me set up my next clip one second. Okay. So I'm medium set up. Might have to pause again, but we one mystery line. So you saw that happen. So next in here, there are 28 undone pages. So I'm just going to let us, let fate decide what page we do. So one through 28. Let's see, can y'all see that that's what we're doing? Ready, generate, 23. I knew they would pick a, a big number. So let's get to page 23. I already did two pages in here. So I did the bird and the genie. So I'm starting, this is one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we will be doing this page right here. And again, we're letting fate decide. So I have more decisions for my generator. Next decision is what type of tool we're using. So I have Sharpie, gel pen, super tip, Tombow, fine liner, or mild liner. So that is one through six. Let's see. Ready? five fine liner i think that's the one i wanted to use the least but that's fine and then i also wrote down colors so i wrote down <coughs> noodles she's mad now that he walked by i wrote down red through violet in rainbow order and then black and silver <coughs> uh, i'm not sure if i'm gonna have silver in fine liner since it's not a gel pen but we'll just do a gray for silver so that is what <coughs> one through nine Ready? One. So this page will be read. This book, some of the this type of book has, um, I've lost all my words. We'll have a key in the front that tells you what each page is going to be. This one does not. So this is going to be a true mystery. Hopefully whatever it is makes sense being read. So let's pick out a red. I have my ginormous uh, pencil case that won't even fit on screen and I am going to 
pick a red out. Ooh, I don't want to hit anything. So I can either use my new Ink Onyx or I can use my old, what are you, Tri Plus Fine Liners. Um, I don't know if I really love that red. I might go for a new one, why not? I'm always scared because I don't want to like dry one out unnecessarily, but we're gonna go for it. I can tell you now that this is going to be a sped up video because fine liner in this book may take me forever. We will see, but that just means some fun music as I speed it up. So, zip that back up. Get that back out of our way. And let's begin. Um, I'm like, this may not be fun at all to look at. I'm gonna zoom us in. It may be really trippy. Um, there we go. These ink onyx are actually kind of hard to open. It's kind of crazy, but I'm just gonna go for it with the fine liner and see how long we can last. You know what I'm gonna do instead. I'm gonna go take the dog outside. I think she's not gonna agree with us. Uh, be right back. All right, I'm back. Little Miss always needs to make sure that you know who's in charge. So she did some running in the backyard. I realize now I don't have a sheet under here. Throw that and get back to it. Again, I'm not sure how exciting this is going to be to watch. So I expect I will chat for 20 to 25 minutes and then speed color it. I think it would be fun to watch in speed coloring because you'll kind of see it come to life and then we'll be able to figure out what it is. So I think I will do that. Let's, what in the heck is going on there? Oh no, it's a chicken, they're taunting me. One of the faces you can do on your watch is just like all the memojis and then they like smile and do stuff at you, I don't know. But um, I had the ghost on there for Halloween and obviously with Halloween being over, I wanted to switch it to something Christmassy, but there isn't a Christmassy one, so I just switched it to all, so it like rotates between all of them, so. Apparently that was the chicken. All right, here we go. So if you've never done these books before, I've heard people have not, and it um, intimidates them a little bit. These are super, super easy to do. You're just literally coloring in the lines. The spiroglyphics ones are the tiniest bit harder, but that's only because you need to start in the right spot, and there are a few options, but like that's the hardest part. Um, I've heard people do sometimes get headaches from these though. I don't, so that is something you should be careful of. And if you feel any strain, just stop for a while. Um, I personally have really only done one color to do these, but you can do lots of different things. And um, the picture will kind of appear as we go, but if at the end you don't see it, well enough you could always take another dark color and go between the lines and that usually will help so whew, super simple i'm winded from running with the dog it is like the weather here has been crazy and i'm sure it's been crazy everywhere and that this is the officially most boring topic to talk about but i feel like it rained for like two weeks straight just every single day and today it is 38 degrees, I think. We haven't gotten snow yet, but we almost got some flurrying. And that's very early for us. And on Saturday, the 7th, I'm having two friends over, tiny get together. And um, it's gonna be 70. So I was debating having my get together outside, but we're doing Nailed It, the TV show. And I just don't think it makes sense to be preparing food outside. I don't know, maybe I'm being silly. Also, I'm seeing that the way I'm doing this is getting lots of um, streaking. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera. Hopefully you can't, but I'm also thinking it's drying out a little bit and evening itself out. So we'll see. Again, I definitely would not have picked fine liner to do this with. This is not my first choice at all but fate decided that this is what I gotta do. So, yes. I'm sad that all of my, 
I'm, I'm pre-filming again. So right now it is the second, and again, I think this is going up the sixth, but I'm hoping to also film the eighth and the 10th today. And I'm sad because I actually do have things coming up to chat about this month, and I'm not gonna get to chat about them in a timely fashion. But I really, again, since I'm the tiniest bit busy, I think this is the only way I'm going to get videos up. So hopefully you don't mind the delayed chat because I think today we're probably going to talk about Halloween if that doesn't bother anybody. But, um, yes, again, if my birthday still hasn't happened in real life and my now birthday shindig hasn't happened in real life. And again, I mentioned this every video, but I'm gonna to continue to mention it. Um, our little get together is well within New Jersey guidelines at the moment. I'm taking extra precautions beforehand. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of thinking after the seventh, I might be just self quarantining for a long time. I just, New Jersey has not been going in the right direction. Um, in my area, we're still pretty good, but obviously, no need to be putting anybody at risk unnecessarily. So I'm just hoping to make it to the seventh and then I will be okay shutting back down. I also um, have done most of my Christmas shopping already, but let's talk about Halloween first. Let's stay in order. So on Halloween or a few days before Halloween, my cousin got the idea. She has a 10 year old daughter and obviously they have been very uh, careful with her and she does school at home so she was obviously going to be missing out on normal Halloween festivities this year and I'm most sad for the kids because it's Saturday and I feel like you really only get one trick-or-treating Saturday in your career as a trick-or-treater maybe two if you get lucky of where it lines up but Saturday trick-or-treating was the best because you just um could go all day and instead of having to wait. And I know, I remember though, when I did trick or treat on school days, we would wear our costumes to school and I would just trick or treat on the walk home. So I guess that was okay too, but Saturdays were the best days. So my cousin had the fabulous idea to have a carnival for her daughter in the backyard and just like play different little cute carnival games. And her sister, which is my other cousin, was working so then she had another fabulous idea to have a candy scavenger hunt the day before so she could be there so Friday night we had a candy scavenger hunt in my house for my other cousin that wasn't coming so she I never I don't know what to call them because obviously I don't want to be talking about anybody who doesn't want to be talked about so after this video I'm gonna ask if I can use first names but for now, I'm not sure what to do. But we came here and it was all planned out and we hid all of the candy and there were clues. And I ended up helping hide things because we didn't expect it to be at my house. So we kind of had to adjust clues and things like that to fit here instead of their house. But it was really funny to watch and I'm almost glad that I watched because it seemed hard. And um, yeah, it was just funny to watch because it was the two teams. So um, boys versus girls. So my husband played with my cousin's boyfriend and then second cousin played with the daughter. See, I need to, hopefully they'll approve name saying, but um, it was funny. It was a tough competition, but they made it. They both finished all their tasks. And then like while we were setting up the indoor clues, she sent them on a car scavenger hunt where the obviously one person was driving, but then the other person had to take pictures of different types of decorations around town. So I thought that was really cool too. And um, Sam said that they ended up pulling over next to this couple walking and probably spooked them pretty bad, but it was just, they were taking pictures. So they just drove back away afterwards and that made me laugh because I would be terrified if these two big guys pulled over next to me. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that was a lot of fun. And then I 
got a new board game and we tried it out and it's called Hughes and Cues and it's really cool. It is like this big board of all different colors. I don't know how many colors. I can't do math that quickly. I want to say 20, probably like 300 colors and it's all different shades. And then each card has four different shades on there. So if I pick up the card and I look at it, let's say it had a, a red, a blue, a green, and a pink. I will pick the red and I'll describe it. So what I'd be like, I would say fire. And then everybody else would have to put their little token on what they think is fire. And then I get to say a second clue and I get two words. So I might say watermelon insides. And then they would adjust it and put their second one down. And then whoever gets closest gets points and things like that. I hope that makes any sense, but it was a whole lot of fun and very easy for everyone to play. Like it wasn't necessarily easy to know what the colors meant, but it wasn't like a hard game to understand. And up to 10 people could play, which again, I don't have 10 people right now, but one day that's exciting. So um, I look forward to playing that again. And I think it was fun. So that is what we did Friday night. Then Saturday was the carnival. So we went over to her house and the backyard. And again, we got lucky because it was the first sunny day in a really long time. So that was nice, but it was like 40 degrees. So that was not nice. <laughs> it was freezing. And I think part of it is the actual temperature is very cold, but the other part is going from warm temperatures to cold temperatures is always really hard because your body's just not ready for it yet. Or at least that's how I felt. And if you saw my costume video, which I'll link up above, so my Halloween special, I showed all my costumes from previous years and I had a strawberry costume. Sam and I were strawberry milk. We decided to just reuse those costumes because obviously this is a weird year, so it wasn't really like I would go out and buy something new year. So we reused those costumes and we went to her house and we ended up though, they were doing construction right outside so we had to park like two blocks away. And for whatever reason, I mean, I guess for Corona, there were no children anywhere. So we are walking down the street and I'm a strawberry, Sam is milk and Noodles is a mermaid. And there are no children. And I was like, Sam, help me. I'm about to be a 32 year old lady. Look at me, what are we doing? Oh gosh, and I was very embarrassed. But Sam's like, I don't know why you're complaining. One day you'll be an 82 year old lady walking down the street in a costume. And I was like, all right, that's probably true. So I was a little bit embarrassed, but we made it through and uh, got there all right. Then I did take it off though for the walk back to the car later. So she had made a whole bunch of fun games. So she had like um, ring toss and knock over the cans and other like that fishbowl game where you have to throw a ping pong ball into a fishbowl fish bowl she had like giant golf she had a bunch of fun stuff i love target games so i was really good at knocking over the cans and i actually got to eat soup for a week to give her the cans because she's not a soup person and i am so that was funny too i love soup i love soup season but we had a good time there. And then I think they were gonna watch Edward Scissorhands, but we went home and took a nap because again, I'm elderly now. So I needed a nap. <laughs> and then later that night, they ended up coming back to our house and we watched The Witches, the new one. That's on HBO Max. So I really like the original one from, I think it's like 1990 with Angelica Houston because I also really like Roald Dahl and a lot of his stuff. Now I wanna kinda of binge more of his stuff because I also this weekend watched Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yes. I never remember if it's Charlie or Willy Wonka, but I'm 90% sure that it is. One second, ah, sorry, that was abrupt. I had to answer a text message very abruptly. Okay. Um. I don't even know where I was. Oh yeah, we watched The Witches. I really like Roald Dahl. I'm a big fan of his books and now I wanna watch them all. Watch Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I always mix up Charlie and Willy Wonka. I personally love Charlie, 
the original a lot, a lot, a lot. I would like to give Willy Wonka another chance. It's definitely not the same vibe at all. So like, it's not as good, but it's okay in a different way. So I have to see where that movie is. It's crazy. At this point, I have HBO Max, Hulu, Netflix, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime. Like me and my cousin share some of them. I have everything that I can think of. We still have full cable, so we can get like the streaming services for all of the channels. And there's still movies that I can't find. Are you serious? Are you kidding? I don't understand. So I have to see where it is and find it and watch it. But I just, it blows my mind. So, and now I wanna rewatch Matilda and I just, maybe James and the Giant Peach. We're just gonna go on a roll doll kick. So the new witches was a lot creepier than I was expecting. And I think I still like the original better. Part of the creep though is just like modern um, editing abilities. Like if you've seen it, her mouth, Anne Hathaway's mouth freaks me out. I did not like it. There were many scenes that I was going, Ugh! so. That's how that went. And yeah, but it was a good time and I'm glad we got to watch it. And it was a very nice Halloween. We ended up for the trick-or-treaters, obviously didn't want people coming to the door. From what we could gather, it was still allowed in New Jersey. So what we ended up doing is we have a bunch of like hedges in the front, like these big bulbous plants. And we just put a little sign up that said, please take one and made little goodie bags and then like scattered them all over the plants. So the, I ended up refilling once. So bef the first time I put out about 15 of them and I think we were down to two and then I put out another 15 and I don't think many more were taken after that. So in theory, we either got about 15 kids or we got one or two ballsy kids. <laughs> So, cause again, I wasn't home and then I was napping, so I didn't see it. But um, yeah, we as we were driving, cause my cousin lives two miles away from us. So driving from our house to her house, a lot of houses had tiny tables set up and things like that, which was good. So it was pretty obvious who was participating and who wasn't. And I think that it's as safe as it could be. I don't know. I have no idea what I would have done if I had to decide to take a kid. I probably, well, I would have taken them to the carnival, first of all, because that was a lot of fun. But I don't know if I would have let them trick or treat. Maybe we'd have done our own scavenger hunts too for some candy. Or maybe, you know, it probably would have made sense. Obviously, I don't know why I'm thinking about this now, but making like a Halloween advent calendar. So like a tiny piece of candy a day instead of worrying about it the day of. So. <sighs> We're making some progress. Ugh, this must be the most boring thing to watch. We have two and a half minutes left. Any guesses of what it's gonna be? I think I know. Is this Ben Franklin? I think it's Ben Franklin. <laughs> it kind of looks like the hair and then eyes so we will see but that is my current guess and I think that's really funny if it is it's weird that it's red but that's okay I wish we got green did some money green but yeah like I said I don't think I can uh, talk for the duration of this picture because you see how slow it's going so I will very likely speed us up and get through this that way but I hope you enjoyed this. If you would like to let fate decide something, um, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. As you saw, I did a bunch of random number generators and I did a smaller selection of my books. You could number generate all of your books. You could use a wheel app. You could only let yourself have six choices and use a die or 12 choices and use two dice. You could do this in a lot of different ways but I definitely lucked out with what I got besides the fine liner, but the book that I got, because some of those books are, are gonna be sit down and 
take my time on those pages, not necessarily video books, but I am hoping that when I said in the beginning, I was hoping for some more than the others that you don't think I didn't appreciate all of them. I super, super did. I'm super, super, I guess, blessed. I don't really say blessed, but blessed, honored, lucky, all of those things to have gotten such wonderful gifts. And that is that on that. So I'm so glad to be able to get coloring in those gifts and I'm probably going to try to do some more challenges this month out of my new books to give them some love. So I think it is speeded up time. So thank Let's finish this one line though. Our timer didn't go off. I just hope that this isn't like draining this pen. I'd be really sad because these are new and I really no, don't understand how long fine liners last. So, whoops. But let me know what you guess or if you have a guess in your head and then if you're right at the end. I really think it's Ben Franklin. Oh, there we go. That's our whistle. So, ready? Whoosh. Voila! We are done. First of all, let me check. I got a tiny bit of red on the next page. So, um, if you saw about halfway through, I switched to Sharpie. I decided I am charge of my own destiny. And that's it. No, actually, um, using that fine liner was not fun and I do not recommend it. I think that if you are doing a finer lined page then sure you might need it but for me it was just taking forever I think I did it about this line I don't know if you can tell on camera but I hope to keep it that way so I'm pretty sure like I said that that's Ben Franklin looks like him right I think so um honestly I don't even know if I will ever film this process again for this type of book because the angle I was trying to color at was a weird time but I definitely enjoyed doing it and that was the fastest I've ever done one of these. Um, I went a little bit quicker than usual for the camera so normally I take a little bit longer and take my time and do one line at a time but I'm so happy to have done this for you guys and I took the L on the challenge. I failed it but you know can't win them all right? That's the point of challenges maybe? Don't know but there it is in his glory. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm pretty sure if all goes according to plan, my next video is going to be my coloring ASMR attempt. Who knows how that's going to go, but we're going to give that a shot too. I'm super excited. Thank you so much for watching and making it this far. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm a good time. Uh, like this video, comment down below anything you want to comment, including our code word which for this video will be sharpie so if you want to yell at me for using the sharpie go right ahead sneak it in there however you want to do it thanks so much and i'll see you again in two days of something new bye